Well guys, beautiful morning up here. It's brisk, a little chilly, but it's beautiful. Feels good to be in the sun, right in the sun's path here. Once you get in the shade, oh man, you'll freeze. <laughs> so temperature right now is right around 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Last night lows was right around 28, 29, so it got pretty cold. We're right around 6,200 feet in elevation, so we're quite a ways up here. But man, what an incredible view. Still a little breezy. We got uh, gusts right around 10 to 15, but not as bad as it was yesterday. So the plan today is uh, maybe just have a quick breakfast, maybe some oatmeal, cereal or whatever, just something quick and easy. Pack up and uh, start working our way down the mountain. So our plan is to get down to lower elevations and uh, we got some other cool place to go check out and we're going to bring you guys along. So it should be pretty interesting. All right guys, so we are pretty much ready to go. We are all buttoned up. We got all the firewood stacked up on the roof there. We got plenty of it. So let's go see uh, what Ron's got to say. What's going on, Ron? Not much. Ready to move on to our next adventure. Next destination, right? Betcha. Oh yeah. More dirt. More dirt. So we're just gonna follow this all the way down, the same way we came up, huh? Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. You've got the map, so. I'll okay. Be right behind you. All right, cool. So this was a cool place. A lot of camping up here, guys. All right, let's hit the road. All right, guys, so we are slowly but surely making our way down the wedge cutoff road. And so we are working our way down the mountain. Once we get to the fork on the road, we're going to kind of work up a game plan on which way we want to go. So we have two different directions we can go. Check out those tunnels. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right there, man. There's several here from what I was seeing on that map right there. Yeah. What does this thing do? 
that center part slides to the right. There you go. Right. I guess we got to crawl through the hole there. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, everybody's going in here. Come on, let's go. Come on, Ranger. I guess they want to keep the animals out, huh? Ooh, look at this. Oh shit. <laughs> oh dude. Watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger, come, come on. Let's go, bud. Ranger, come on. Is he coming? Come on. Ranger, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let me go. He's scared. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, you got it? All right. Hey, look at him. <laughs> come on, buddy. He's like, how do you jump over this? Come on. Wow. I don't know what they were looking for. I don't know. Wow. Pretty nice fun with one. Yeah. How they did this whole thing, man. They would drill holes and right. then blast or do whatever. See, Let's see what's in there. Yep, core the hole out. What's in that? What's in these holes here? Drill, and that's how they would blast. Some sort of brace, maybe? What's that? Look at that. It's a wire. Oh, yeah, so this is a junction box of some sort of. Let's light it. Maybe it's dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> but look how, even when they were digging in here, look how it's, it's layers. You know, like it could shale off, you know? Yeah. He definitely likes adventure, man. Yeah. He's gonna work on his jumping skills, though. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, over to the bar, buddy. He did it before. Yeah. He'll follow you. Okay, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. Good boy, buddy. So I guess this is a designated camp spot right here. Yeah. Got a nice little bench. Little outcropping right here. Play on. Real primitive camping though. Pack it in, pack it out. There's another one there and another camp site back in that draw right there. Oh, this is just a bummer. That's the doghouse. Okay, come on. <laughs> Just no wooden timber, timber uh, bunker here.
there's a dinosaur track up there somewhere. Get up there. What's this here, Ron? There's a dinosaur track right in there. Look at that. Look at this. There's two of them. One faintly, and then that one. right here, kind of, and then that good one. Look at that thing. Dinosaur track. Wow. Where's the other one? You can faintly see it. Right here. Barely can see it, though. I thought it might be back here, but... That's pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. You now people have hiked all over here. I don't know if there's anything. I doubt if there's anything. Ago. See TRM, or here's the TRC. You go to the TRC, 220 million years ago. Wow. And the top one here, the JC, is 160 million years ago. Holy smokes. This is the Swingin' Bridge. The San Rafael Bridge.
aka Swinging Bridge. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <laughs> that used to be the road, man. The old timber bridge. San Rafael River. Ah, it's flowing pretty good. Well, they just stuck an outrigger here, yep. bolted it to the beam, just, and all that does is keeps the side railings from getting all flimsy. Yeah. It's all triangulated for support, huh? Yeah. That's interesting. Look at this, uh, it looks, it looks like a hinge there. It's a giant ship lap. Yeah. <laughs> and they, uh, spliced the two sections together. Just the way we like it. All right, guys. So we are on Highway 24, heading towards uh, Hanksville, Utah. So we just got off uh, I-70. There is nothing out here on off Highway 24, guys. It's just so desolate out here. And uh, I'm about a quarter of a tank as far as my uh, stock fuel tank goes. So we're gonna. Hit the switch, right there, okay. So now we're gonna transfer fuel from my auxiliary fuel tank into my primary fuel tank, or the stock fuel tank. So I am running a uh, auxiliary fuel tank which holds up to 25 gallons of fuel. And that is mounted in the rear, right where your spare tire would reside. So we made it out here to Hanksville, Utah, and look at this place right here, man. Isn't that neat? It's the Hollow Mountain uh, Little Market here, and they actually carved into this uh, into this rock. Guys, 
this is freaking neat. Your popcorn? Got me a bucket to eat on the road. <laughs> right on. So we gotta head on this down this way. Okay. And uh, then that trail is gonna peel off to the to the right. Okay. So All I'll right. let you know. Okay. Yep. All right, we're gonna get back on the road and get to our next destination. So catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So we just uh, got off Highway 24 outside of Caneville, and uh, we're here at Cathedral Valley. So we're gonna take this dirt road down to uh, our final destination for today. Right, guys so we finally landed at our campsite for tonight uh, there is no camping inside the Capitol Reef National Park so we had to leave the park we're back here in on uh, Utah public lands BLM and so we kind of found a little little uh, gully here where we're somewhat protected from the wind as you can see behind me there uh, we definitely need some wind shelter because it is pretty gusty out here so once in a while you do get get a gust of wind blow in but it's way better than uh, everything else we've seen so now next step is we are out of level here and I need to level out the rig since I sleep in the rig you know okay we got that one we gotta do you know what we're gonna go with that one first We're gonna back up Dusty into that hole there and uh, see if we level out some. All right, buddy. Let's go. That looks pretty good right there. We are pretty much, looks like we're level. Take a look from the back here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. This is camp for tonight. And uh, we're ready to eat dinner, so we're gonna set up, get things going. Ranger, here bud. Tell you what. Definitely be quiet back in here. Hey. So yesterday I was up really high. Now you're down. <laughs> hey, hey, today. Now, now you're on your knees. <laughs> Look at that. I don't even need stool either. <laughs>
going? What's in there? My shitter slash table. Oh. Eat right where you sit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>